Is Pic3 AI the editing of the future? Now, in today's video, I'm going to cover how Pic3 AI works and show you step by step how we can create videos with this within just a few minutes and a few clicks. So with a normal video editing software, first of all, you have to get the script ready, do a voiceover, load in that voiceover, find the clips, import the clips, then add them at the right moment, then add effects. Basically, there are over 10 steps just for every single clip to add into your video. With Pic3 AI, they have made it automatic and I'll show you how that works. So they've got a feature called script to video. Now, if you go there and you paste the script that you've made, just like this, and you paste this in here, you can now click proceed once it's done processing, which takes a few seconds, and they automatically create a video based on the script that you have. Now, what I recommend you do is keep these sentences a bit shorter. So just like this, you wanna click enter so that there are a few spaces and it's not too long. Otherwise, it's gonna to be too much text in the subtitles because they automatically subtitle your video. So this makes it look good. Whereas if you have too long sentences, that's not gonna be great. So this is perfect. Once you're done, you wanna click on proceed and you wanna choose a template. Now, there are a lot of fancy ones. What I just always do is subtitle yellow because people are used to that, it works. Whereas the other ones are just unnecessary, try to be fancy click continue and then what is doing now this is the future part of editing is creating a storyboard now a storyboard on this software basically means the editing layout so where I was on Sony Vegas Premiere Pro whatever software you use maybe DaVinci Resolve you've got the classic editor layout on this one it's going to be a bit different so as soon as this bar hits hundred percent our video is now done because AI took care of everything so you don't have to load in the scripts find the clips do this do that it's fully done as soon as this loads up and there we go. So this took one minute and my video is done. Isn't that crazy? So as you can see, we now have a bunch of scenes that are added to our video automatically. Now in the background, you'll see clips. So they have got the subtitles, they've got the clips. I can now go to audio, voiceover, choose the one I want. I always use Ayanda, apply and boom, my video is now done. Now that of course is indeed the future of video editing. This makes it so much easier. If I had to do this manually, I had to find all these clips, download them from somewhere, import them, put the text, make sure that it fits at the right moment because if I do the voiceover and I'm not saying what's on screen doesn't work. So all of those steps save you so much time here with Pic3 AI and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the standard clip, but if you want to change it, you go to visuals and you type in anything, for example, Amsterdam, you're going to get a bunch of clips to show up. Now, this is backed by Storyblocks. Storyblocks is a stock footage platform, which is one of the most high-end ones. And these are pretty good clips. Normally, this costs you about $30 a month, which I know because I actually pay that because for my other faceless YouTube automation channels, I have to get these clips. So that's why I'm paying 30. But with Pic3 AI, it's already included. So that's a nice bonus right there. But search for Amsterdam canals. I'm not sure what's going on with my internet. There we go. Click on the one that you like to go with, and there you go. You just change the clip. And that's how you can do that step by step for every little scene. So you go to scene number two, a red light district. Now they've put red lights. Normally they put a better clip. This time, not great. So what you would do, I would type in party in Amsterdam, hit enter. Clips are going to load up. I'm going to go with this one right here. Perfect. That's the perfect clip for what's being set right here. Go to story, go to number three. I have three lines of text. I like to keep it two lines, just like that. Slide it down, perfect. Visuals, go to my uploads, scroll down. And then what you can do is upload um, pictures or videos from your laptop as well. So they do have that feature, which is pretty good. So I have the IX team here. Select it, click settings, visual zoom and pan, and there we go. Scene three, done. Scene four, and this is what I don't recommend doing. Don't choose everything based on the literal stuff that is being said. Instead, keep it within the main topic. So I'm just gonna keep it within Amsterdam, just like this, because we're talking about revealing the secrets of the captivating city, the captivating city being Amsterdam. If I just put like some secret B-roll, that's not great. It's gonna be too cringy. And that's what a lot of people do. So if you don't do that, you're gonna have much better videos. Let's see if we can get this to two lines as well. No, we cannot. So what you do here, and this is what I told you about in the intro, is split the scene. So make sure that the text is not too long. If I do it like this, split scene, there you go, as you can see, it's now just one line of text. Put that at 30 again, 
I can put this one at 30 as well, just like that, perfect. And then these two scenes are now linked. In order to unlink them, click there, which means that the clips are not gonna be the same. So if you link them, the clips in the background are gonna be the same as the other clip that you linked it to. Whereas if you unlink them, they're individual and you can now change it. So he's still talking about Amsterdam. He says, did you know that in Amsterdam? So I just put this clip, that's a nice one. Go back to story. And then there's a, there's a bike parking garage that can hold the 12.5K bikes. What you then do, you either find the exact garage, which is what I've done, which is why I uploaded this picture and use that, or you can use any B-roll from bicycles. And that's basically how you continue to build out your video scene by scene and then at the end you've got a complete video about Amsterdam now once again here's the funny part I wouldn't choose to do like these kind of b-roll clips about some funny guy just keep it the main topic which for me is Amsterdam so I'm just gonna keep it like this gonna have a much more professional feeling to it what a lot of people do is they choose those like cringy kind of videos and then the videos turn out really bad because it's just super cringe so instead of that do it like this two lines of text like people are used to on TV shows, Netflix, you know all of that stuff, and then you're done. So I'm now gonna build out my entire video. I'll show you a video that I made with Pictory at the end of the video you're watching right now, by the way. Before that, I do wanna show um, that they also have voiceover tools built in. So this is really cool as well. Definitely adds some of the aspects of the future of editing because what you can now do is simply click right here. I already just did that. And then right now the voiceover is done and I'll show you what that sounds like in a bit. Is it the best one? No. Is it the worst one? No. It's pretty decent. I would rate these like six, up to seven out of 10. I think Ayanda, which you'll hear in a bit, is like a seven out of 10 voiceover um, from a tool like this. So that's definitely not bad. And then what you've now done, you've just created a full video without importing, downloading, doing this, doing that. Just very simple process. You upload a script, it creates the video, you choose clips and then you're done. All you need to do now is simply click download. But before you do that, go to format, click 1080p, 16 by nine, and then download. I'm not sure if this is a feature that comes with the premium plan because I do indeed have the premium plan, which I'll show you, as you can see, premium monthly. Now I can actually give you guys 20% off by using the code creator20. It will give you 20% off your subscription lifetime, as well as a full platform tutorial and other resources for Pick3 AI, all of which will be in the description down below. With that being said, I'll now play a video generated with Pick3 AI for you, and I'll leave a link to a free trial in the description down below. If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm here to help you out. I wanna give the best support to people that use Pick3 AI, especially using my affiliate link in the description. I appreciate that a lot, and I wanna help you out the best way possible. So if you have any questions, can I use it for this? Can I use it for this? Definitely let me know. Amsterdam, the capital city of the Netherlands, is located in the Western Netherlands within the province of North Holland. Along with The Hague, Amsterdam plays a significant role in the governance of the country. With The Hague being the location of much of the Dutch government, while Amsterdam is the economic and cultural heart of the country, famous for its artistic heritage, Amsterdam boasts an elaborate canal system and narrow houses, with gabled facades that serve as legacies of the city's 17th century golden age. The city is widely regarded as one of the greatest small cities in the world, and its museum district is home to world-famous attractions such as the Van Gogh Museum, the Rijksmuseum, and modern art at the Stede Lake. Due to its extensive canal system, Amsterdam has minimal road traffic, and visitors will find that their destinations are never too far away. Cycling is an integral part of the city's culture, and there are numerous bike paths that you can explore. With its picturesque canal network, rich history, and vibrant cultural scene, Amsterdam is one of the world's most unique and fascinating city destinations.